When CERN turned on its Large Hadron Collider in 2016, the world witnessed an eerie and unexpected sight. A mysterious event took place in the skies above the facility, accompanied by strange energy surges in the atmosphere. Terrifying photographs of the event left the world in awe, with many scientists speculating that CERN may have just ripped our universe open, creating a portal to another dimension. This mind-blowing event marked the beginning of a new era for humanity, but many speculate that there are darker things yet to come. What really happened when CERN turned on the Large Hadron Collider? Have scientists found a way to open portals to other dimensions? If so, what is the fate of humanity? Join us in this video as scientists finally found a way to open a portal to another dimension. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, has earned a massive reputation in recent times for its many achievements and daredevil feats. However, the agency's biggest controversy is its biggest and most significant project, the Large Hadron Collider. Situated on the Franco-Swiss border near Nevada, the Large Hadron Collider sits as one of the most revolutionary technologies of the 21st century. As the world's largest particle collider and the largest accelerator, this iconic brainchild of science has ushered researchers into a whole new world of possibilities. The Large Hadron Collider is a massive tunnel of steel and magnets measuring nearly 17 miles or 27 kilometers in circumference. The colossal structure is situated underground, isolated from civilization as well as the elements of nature. You may be wondering what CERN hopes to achieve with the LHC. Well, the ultimate aim is to run unconventional experiments to test and verify certain theoretical predictions about our understanding of science and the universe. In other words, with the LHC, CERN plans to break the limits of science. The LHC allows scientists to smash atoms at supersonic speeds in a conserved system where everything can be studied and analysed. This isn't just random smashing of any particles. In fact, the particles subjected to these extreme experiments in the LHC are supercharged atomic particles, the same particles that make up matter in our universe. Colliding these particles at light speeds makes it possible for CERN experts to recreate some of the conditions that existed during the dawn of the universe. However, with experiments like these, nothing is ever certain. In fact, the sheer unpredictability of the LHC experiments has birthed several conspiracy theories and scary allegations. You see, many experts within the scientific community have hinted that CERN may be biting off more than it can chew with the LHC. For a long time, the agency has been focusing on finding the boson particle, or what some would call the God particle. The God particle is the enigmatic entity believed to be at the very centre of creation itself. Plants, animals, and life as we know it only existed because particles gained their mass from the Higgs boson field. Finding the Higgs boson is pretty much the same as finding the secret ingredient behind the dawn of the universe. If scientists can somehow lay their hands on this particle, not only would it reveal the secrets of how the universe was created, but it would also add more flavour to the Big Bang Theory. You see, although the Big Bang Theory has long been accepted as the scientific explanation of how the universe came to be, decades of scientific research have spotted many loopholes in this theory. For example, the sequence of activities that followed immediately after the explosion that set off everything is still a debate. The basic theory states that the universe began as a single point explosion before further expanding and giving birth to matter and every other thing we see in it today. The theory explains that the stars, galaxies and constellations emerged as the universe expanded and cooled. But then, in recent years, certain irregularities were spotted in this base theory and another concept known as inflation had to be introduced. The period of inflation during the Big Bang was a short period in which the universe expanded super fast for a fraction of a second soon after the Big Bang.
The idea was introduced in 1981 to solve some problems in the cosmological model. However, that alone wasn't enough. Many more afterthought theories and modifiers have been added to the model to make it more fulfilling. Currently, our scientific cosmological model is a modified version of the Big Bang Theory, with several attachments to accommodate most of the recently discovered mind-blowing phenomena like dark matter and dark energy. 21st century scientists are faced with the question of whether the Big Bang Theory was right after all, or if something is missing. Perhaps there's a piece of the puzzle no one saw, or there's another theory that does justice to all the things we've learned about our universe so far. The gaps in the current cosmological model are what drive experts at CERN to push for more answers, treading on uncharted terrain. CERN's undying desire from the onset has been to find the God particle and study it to get insight and clarity on deep universal matters. And so, you can imagine the joy and astonishment CERN scientists felt when a boson particle finally popped up during an experiment. The year 2012 was a sensational moment for scientists at CERN, as it was the moment a Higgs boson was spotted during the ATLAS and CMS experiments conducted at the Large Hadron Collider. However, the boson particle isn't the only motivational force driving experts at CERN to push the boundaries of science. Other enigmatic entities like dark matter and dark energy still remain a puzzle, and it's up to the LHC to try and solve these as well. Dark matter is the invisible matter that fills up more than 95% of space in the universe, while dark energy is the unfathomable force that binds the universe together. These mysterious universal forces are both invisible to the naked eye, but their effects are heavily felt and noticed across the stars and galaxies in the cosmos. For instance, Dark energy is the mysterious force behind the universal expansion, and many conspiracy theories suggest that this force may one day tear the universe apart. Finding these elusive cosmic wonders would not only clarify our history of the universe's dawn, but would also reveal secrets about what the future holds for us all. So far, elaborate experiments to detect and study these entities have proved abortive and the LHC seems to be the only bailout now. Astrophysicist Zen Liu of the University of Minnesota revealed to the press that the Higgs boson is a critical component of the standard cosmological model and could serve as a middleman between our visible world and the dark world where these mysterious entities lie. Theorists believe that there is one type of boson particle that mostly interacts with dark matter and only interacts with normal matter on rare occasions. If this particle can be recreated and studied, we may have all our questions about the dark universe answered in no time. However, recreating a boson particle is a backbreaking process. Even though the LHC can perform up to 1 billion proton-proton collisions per second, there's less than a 1% chance that a boson particle will be born from these collisions. And then again, these particles have been known to have a mysterious habit of deteriorating or degenerating into smaller atoms immediately after they are formed. This is why members of the scientific community at CERN couldn't achieve much after the initial discovery of the boson particle in 2012. Experts are working on a way to slow the decay or halt the transition between distinct states of particles that exist in the dark realm. In other words, they find a way to keep recreated boson particles stable. But the truth remains that LHC experiments are totally unpredictable and potentially very dangerous. You see, CERN has come under fire in recent years over the LHC and its controversial experiments. Many experts have theorized that trying to recreate the forces and conditions that existed at the dawn of the universe could come with grim consequences, as we could end up recreating the Big Bang all over again. Some conspiracy theorists have suggested that smashing atoms at light speeds could potentially create a black hole that would suck up everything on Earth. But one famous theory that both the scientific community and the general public have pushed for is that CERN may have created a portal to another dimension thanks to the LHC experiments.
You see, many genius minds in the scientific community have proposed that CERN, through its elaborate efforts to create the boson particle, may have torn the fabric of space-time, opening a portal to another dimension. Furthermore, this school of scientists believes that the ripple in space-time may be the cause of certain global mysteries like the Mandela Effect. One strong proponent of this theory is the child genius Max Laughlin. The young Einstein boldly took to social media to share that CERN's supercharged experiments have created a portal to another dimension of reality and are duly responsible for the Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect is a puzzling phenomenon whereby a group of people remember an event or thing differently from actual reality. It was first discovered in 2009 after a large number of people recounted that Nelson Mandela had died in prison, when he was, in fact, later released and became the president of South Africa. According to Max Laughlin, the strange cosmic energy from the alternate dimension is altering our reality. Max Laughlin suggests that the varying memories most people have could be the alternate reality of the other dimension that was accidentally opened. As mind-boggling as this may all sound, it isn't entirely impossible. You see, the multiverse theory has seen a good deal of appreciation among scientists. This theory, which suggests that there may be an infinite number of universes or realities similar to ours, has had many alibis over the years. Recent research by some groups of scientists proposed that some advanced 5D equations have been created that indicate the existence of an extra dimension in our universe and reality. These researchers even suggested that it would be possible to create particles that, according to them, can travel to the fifth dimension point. All of this points to the fact that interdimensional travel is not only possible, but is very much within grasp. In fact, some extreme conspiracy theorists even suggest that CERN may be secretly opening portals to other dimensions on purpose somewhere within the endless tunnels of the LHC. There's no telling whether this dreadful accusation is true or not, but many fingers keep pointing to CERN as the agency that may bring about the destruction of Earth. The general phobia is that such a portal would cause severe damage to the fabric of our universe and plunge our planet into chaos. But then again, it's undeniable that a portal to another dimension would bring a whole new world of possibilities to the scientific community. Some researchers have analysed the possibility of transporting or transferring across dimensions via such portals. Some experts even propose that these interdimensional experiments may help connect the visible matter that we know in detail with the mystifying dark matter that we know almost nothing about. So. The big question is this, could the LHC secretly be the key to opening up interdimensional portals? Did CERN somehow accidentally create a machine that could open up a portal to another dimension? According to official reports, this doesn't seem to be the case. The agency has repeatedly assured the public that its many experiments in the LHC are safe and that such supersonic collisions happen every second in the subatomic universe. However, this hasn't convinced the public very much. Neither has it silenced the mouths of skeptics and conspiracy theorists. Many would rather see the LHC shut down and dismantled or the experiments discontinued. However, CERN isn't ready to relinquish its multi-billion dollar scientific instrument. The agency has spent billions of dollars on the project right from its inception up until now. After the controversial first run in September 2008, the LHC was temporarily shut down for two years to make necessary changes and improvements to the system. After the improvements, it was reopened. This became the regular cycle, running the machine for four years and then shutting it down for two years. During its numerous routine maintenance sessions, CERN has spent billions of dollars attempting to perfect the LHC. But the agency isn't done yet. CERN is gearing up for the next run of the LHC, and it will be the most powerful yet. A support manager for the project had this to say, Run 3 is exciting for me, not only because it will give us more data at higher collision energies, which we always love, but also because the detector is the best it's ever been now.
The trap is all set for the particle to be caught at any time. There's no telling what will happen when this groundbreaking scientific instrument reaches its full potential. Many researchers and scholars like Professor Liantao Wang, a professor at the Enrico Fermi Institute in the Kavli Institute for Cosmological Physics at the University of Chicago, are very excited about this new era of the LHC. However, skeptics and members of the public are terrified more than ever that this time, the Large Hadron Collider may break the universe beyond repair. Wild rumours are beginning to circulate that CERN may be opening a portal to hell, all in their obsessive quest for the God Particle. And just so you know, the Mandela Effect isn't the only thing fueling these gruesome accusations against CERN. In fact, several shocking phenomena have been witnessed ever since the Large Hadron Collider was switched on. Some of these spine-chilling events had never been recorded before in the history of humankind, thereby causing many to point their fingers once more at CERN and its enigmatic collider. One such never-before-seen enigma that stirred many to cast stones at CERN and call for a total shutdown was the incident of 2016. Back then, when the LHC was turned on, something strange and totally bizarre happened to the skies above the facility. Photographs of the clouds revealed an unusual cloud formation with strange electrical activity in the atmosphere above the CERN facility. The eerie clouds sparked a media frenzy. Many couldn't resist commenting on these jaw-dropping photos. This was very much the beginning of the controversial theory that CERN may have ripped open our universal fabric, opening up a portal to another dimension. The strange clouds were like nothing ever seen before, and many netizens remarked that stuff like this only happened in the movies. And even until now, such enigmatic clouds have rarely appeared again. At, did something happen that day because of the Large Hadron Collider? Or was it all a coincidence? Stephen Hawking, a renowned scientist, once gave a stern warning about the God Particle. After mildly hinting that discovering the God Particle would be nearly impossible, he warned that even when scientists did discover this particle, it could one day be responsible for the destruction of the known universe. This doomsday scenario would most likely play out if the Higgs vacuum becomes unstable, and then black holes begin to pop up in the Higgs field. These small black holes would literally expand and collapse the world from within. Contrary to Hawking's words, CERN has assured the world that the chances of such black holes appearing aren't quite verifiable. And even if such holes should appear, they would not destroy the universe. However, British astronomer Sir Martin Rees agrees with Hawking. He feels that CERN could literally open a Pandora's box, unleashing strange high-energy matter that is highly unstable, thereby causing a catastrophic vacuum that would collapse time and space itself. More shocking is another warning from Stephen Hawking that if such a doomsday event were to occur, it would take us totally unawares. Hawking firmly believed that the risk of the Higgs field becoming destabilized at high energy is much too great to ignore. And so, with CERN pushing for higher energy collisions at higher frequencies, could they end up making Hawking's fears and warnings come to pass? Even though scientists believe boson particles play a game-changing role in the cosmic history of the universe, many feel that the obsession over it seems to be getting out of hand. With the third run of the LHC underway and expected to end by 2026, there's no telling what shocking things we may find. In fact, there's no telling what shocking events may happen to our world. In 2022, when the LHC was restarted for its third run with a new maximum beam energy, scientists noticed something shocking. It turned out that a crack had suddenly appeared in the Earth's magnetic field. This mind-boggling event left most experts scratching their heads, and a few others were terrified. You see, the magnetic field plays a huge role in protecting against solar flares. And so, with a chunk of it gone, the risk of humanity suffering under the unbearable solar rays went up. Once again, many fingers pointed at CERN for this shocking and uncomfortable turn of events. It's as though the Collider keeps damaging a piece of our world every time it is turned on. 
But then, it would interest you to know that even after this much-anticipated third run of the LHC, CERN scientists are still scheduling another upgrade, this time to transform the Large Hadron Collider into a mind-blowing spectacle. CERN intends to crank up the Collider even more for the fourth run, transforming it into a high-luminosity Large Hadron Collider. This high-luminosity LHC would increase the chances of discoveries by far, making it more likely to unbox things like dark matter and dark energy. But then, doesn't this also mean that the HLLHC would have more chances of creating a black hole or another unexpected atomic bomb? CERN is focused on pushing its experiments to the extreme. But many people fear that they may just be pushing their luck, if truly a portal has already been ripped open in the past, imagine what would happen when the collisions in the LHC become 10 times faster. It gets even more disturbing when you consider the fact that the scientific community is working on many more Higgs factories, facilities solely dedicated to studying the Higgs boson particle. Some facilities are centered around exploring the Higgs gateway, while others focus more on finding and stabilizing the Higgs boson particle itself. Many more atom smashes are underway, like the International Linear Collider in Japan and the Compact Linear Collider at CERN. These futuristic colliders would make the LHC look like child's play, and no one knows what might come out of these colossal atom smashes. On the one hand, they have the potential to solve some of the mind-boggling mysteries of modern-day science. Yet, they could just be the last straw to break the universe into a million pieces. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.